Hi, and welcome to Plane Perfect's video series about how to use the Plane Perfect products on different kinds of airplanes. Today we're going to be looking at an old SNJ and using Buddha Belly, Wing Wipe, uh, Eyes Outside, and Perfect Seal and Protect on this antique Warbird. So let's go over to Tom for information about the airplane. Uh, this is a North American SNJ-6. It's a Navy trainer from World War II, built in 1945. And it flew out of Pensacola, Florida for pilot training for the Navy World War II pilots. The, uh, it's kind of neat to know that the airplane's still here flying today um, after all these years. And uh, we, as Warbird owners, try to keep the airplanes flying and in good shape. We tend to use the airplane for uh, educational purposes. Uh, we go to open houses and air shows and different things and we'll try to explain to them that this airplane was used to train pilots in World War II. In fact, most every pilot trained in a T-6 or an SNJ in World War II, it was the advanced trainer used by the U.S. military. And um, there's about 600 of them left flying today, which is a good testament to how strong they were built and how, how good of an airplane they are. Well, we always try to keep the airplane in good shape. Um, with, this, with this process, we're hoping to really get a a nice looking shine. Um, this is painted in a flat paint, so it's not going to be an ultra, ultra shine, but we're expecting just to bring back a little life to the paint and uh, keep it cleaner. Make, maybe she'll fly a little faster, too. <laughs> it always looked flat to me, and it's like restoring it. Feels great. Looks even better. Not bad. Nice product. Right, so we, uh, we took this 1945 uh, SNJ and we've got it from our friends here at Warburn Squadron 4. And as you can see, that the, this uh, Warbirds was painted over 45 years ago. So this particular plane has some very old, dry, brittle paint. So what we want to do on this full detail, first things first, let's strip the plane. So there's a lot of uh, commercially available strippers that'll take the sealant off, any residual bugs, grease, things like that. The easiest way is to use Dawn dish soap and some warm water in a bucket with a little non-abrasive brush. We went ahead and did that yesterday. We let it dry overnight here in our heated hangar. Uh, we came in this morning and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the uh, Buddha belly on the underside. So gear bays, brake lines, exhaust soot, any heavy residual grime that we couldn't get with our stripping process, we took the Buddha belly and went over that. We followed Buddha Belly with EcoClean just to make sure we had a clean surface that was completely uh, free of any degreasers. We don't want to have any degreasers in the sealant process. Then we started with our Perfect Seal and Protect. Now, Perfect Seal and Protect, um, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, I was asked today again, I'm, I seem to be continually asked, what's in your Perfect Seal and Protect? So the common theme that we hear uh, is, does it have any silicone? I've heard silicone's terrible for airplanes. I've heard silicone's terrible for fabric. We can't repaint airplanes if we have silicone. First of all, uh, I don't know of many processes today that are repainting planes by simply sanding them and repainting them. That was kind of uh, an old school method back in the day in the 70s. Uh, today, most paint shops that I know of are doing a complete chemical strip. Uh, there is not a product in the world that a chemical stripper is not gonna take off. So first of all, uh, to start with the basis of Perfect Seal and Protect, we only have 5% of silicone in that product. We've tested it on fabric airplanes, composite airplanes, metal airplanes. It's safe for every surface. So there's not a surface that Perfect Seal and Protect can't touch. And that's evident today. We have fabric rudders, fabric elevators, metal fuselage. Uh, so we're, we're touching most of those components today, most of those uh, surfaces. You can apply it two different ways. You can apply it with a dual action orbital, which we sell here at Plane Perfect, makes things really easy, uh, goes a lot faster. Or you can apply it by hand. Uh, it works either way. So there's no uh, right or wrong way to apply it. It's a, it's a synthetic polymer-based product. It, it uh, will apply evenly either way. Uh, we go ahead and apply the Perfect Seal and Protect, wait 15 minutes, and then I always like to remove it by hand with our microfiber towels. Uh, that way you get all the product off, you get out of the uh, crevices and seams, and you can see where the high and the low spots are. Then you're going to let that paint cure for 20 minutes after you've removed the product. So another 20 minutes goes by, and then you go ahead and apply a second coat. Now the reason for a second coat is you apply evenly uh, the product, you get a very even application, and then if there's, there's any high, low spots, any buffing marks in this particular paint job, because the paint job's over 40 years old, 
uh, there's, it, it's very thirsty. The paint is dry, it's brittle, uh, it's cracked, it's, it's chipped in a lot of places. So it's, it really wants to soak up that product. So we're gonna go ahead and do a second coat, do the same process, apply it, wait 15 minutes, and then buff it off by hand. You can buff it off with a, with a machine, with a random orbital, that's fine. Perfect Seal is actually, uh, it's a nanospec technology, it's polymer based, and it actually bonds to your paint on a molecular level. So it, 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 as soon as you apply it, it, it's a fast acting, rapid bonding technology. Bonds to that paint, as opposed to just bonding to the top coat. So it really gets in the paint, softens up the paint, and when you, after you uh, leave it on for 15 minutes and then you buff it off, that 20 minute cure time of the metal, you can really actually see the paint rich in color, it gets deeper in color. It's like looking into the uh, deep end of a swimming pool, it's beautiful. And then when we're done with that, the two-step process, we're gonna go ahead and use wing wipe with our microfiber towels, spray it down, wipe it off, get in the seams and the cracks and the crevices, get all that excess product off. If you have any dried on excess, perfect seal, wing wipe will take that away. Ah, it looks, looks fantastic. The, uh, the paint was, you know, we don't really even know how old it was painted. And um, um, right now you can see it's, it's come back, you know, great, more than we expected even. And uh, this is just the first application, so we're excited. Next, we're gonna put the second coat of Plane Perfect over the whole airplane. We've got it pretty well clean now in one coat, and the second coat should really bring out the, uh, the uh, spots we might have missed. And, and make the plane look super perfect. I, uh, I worked on the wings, I worked on the tail, I did, a, did some work on the rudder. I also worked on the ailerons, which are uh, cloth. We started with a very dull uh, finish. This airplane has been flown, it's been taken care of, but the plane did oxidize, and this product oh, brought the luster back. It cleaned very well. It's not difficult to work with, so and it, it really made a big difference in the airplane, okay. and it was surprising. I didn't think we'd get it up this well. It's amazing. We took this dull, flat finish and restored it. It's got color. It's got shine. It's quite an amazing product from what we had before this and what we've got now. She really does a uh, good 200, 300% better than what we brought it in the hangar at. Uh, just it's it's amazing. It used to be kind of rough and, and faded, sun faded, a matte finish, dull, uh, almost looked like primer. And uh, we've got a shine to it now, nice and smooth. Uh, the cleaning product on a couple spots that we cleaned on just was fantastic. Thanks for watching our video about Plane Perfect and how to use our products on an SNJ. You can click here to get more information about Plane Perfect products and order them for use on your own airplanes. Until next time, safe flying from all of us at Plane Perfect.